Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to stop your completed tasks being hidden in Planner and to do. First, we'll show you how to view both current and completed tasks in Planner. Then we'll enable the completed tab in Microsoft to do. And finally, we'll give you an excellent bonus tip for making versatile task lists. To use Microsoft Planner, start by heading to tasks.office.com. Here, click New Plan, or open the plan you're currently using. We're going to create a new blank plan. Now head down to the bottom of the dialog box. Here, give the plan a name. Then click the bottom select box, and choose to set the plan to public or private. When you're done, hit Create. To make a new task, head up and click the Add Task button. Enter a name for the task. Set a due date. And assign the task if required. When you're finished, hit Add Task. Normally, when you've completed a task, you might click the circular checkbox. Doing so will send the task into a hidden section below, called Completed. But that could be a problem if you want your completed tasks visible in the same window as the remaining tasks. To resolve the problem, click on Add New Bucket. Then name it Completed. With that done, we can now drag the completed tasks across into the completed column, instead of clicking the checkbox. If you're using Microsoft To Do, you won't be able to create a completed column on the same page as the current tasks. However, it might help to have a page where completed tasks from all your different task lists are located. To enable that, head up and click the Settings icon. Then select To Do Settings. Here, head down and look for Completed. And then click the toggle to turn it on. Now head up and close Settings and then go across to the left menu. You should now find the completed tab, giving you access to all completed tasks. If you're looking for a more versatile and collaborative task list, try using Microsoft Loop. Here we've got a workspace called Tasks. Let's call the page Task List. Now click anywhere below, and type forward slash list. Then select Task List from the dropdown. Add the names of the tasks, We'll create two for demonstration purposes. You can add assignees to the tasks. And you can set a due date. When you click the select box, it puts a strike through on the task name, but it doesn't disappear from the list. You can also click the nine dots above the table and select create loop component. This allows you to share this specific task list on other Microsoft apps, such as Teams. To do that, head over and click the copy icon. With the component copied, head to Microsoft Teams. Then paste the link into any chat box. Finally, hit send, and you'll be able to check off your tasks from a more convenient location. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.